is Bill here at PowerStrokeHelp.com. I'll talk to you a little bit about how Arch Oil AR6200, the fuel additive, helps in a marine application, but also in high compression engines. Okay, this is a 2002 Malibu ski boat uh, that I got out of a trade a few years ago. Uh, somebody needed a truck, and I happened to have the truck, and he had the boat. One of the boat guys around my neighborhood there, and so anything, one thing led to another, and I got another boat, and he got a truck. Now, the, the one thing I really like about this boat is it has the LS1. It's a 2002 Malibu, but it was one of the very first ski boats that got the LS engine in it. So it's a Corvette edition uh, LS1 with a 5.7. Now, the only downside to this is, is that this engine is 10.5 to 1 compression, which means it needs the absolute best fuel that it can get. So I run 93 octane BP, I run Chevron Tecarlene, this shell is supposed to be coming out with a really good fuel, it's supposed to be a, a premium premium fuel. This boat is extremely fuel sensitive because of the loads from skiing and the fact it's 10 and a half to 1 compression. So when you pull on the engine cover of this boat, it's a uh, early model 5.7 liter LS1 uh, a Corvette engine in here and it makes gobs of power just fantastic boat engine the problem with 93 octane that you buy at the pump is it'll still detonate in this engine and cause the knock sensors uh, to activate and then the, what will happen is the computer the ECM will actually back down the timing so that you don't damage the engine you don't uh, have a pre-ignition detonation situation and you know ultimately cause a problem uh, uh, cracking or breaking a piston so when, even with 93 octane I have this problem so the, the arch oil has been a boon uh, to this engine and the only thing I hate about it is when I run out because right now I run out and the boat starts poor and it runs poor it doesn't have the power that it should uh, or I shouldn't let me put it this way it doesn't have the power that I have become accustomed to because I'm a big 300 pound dude uh, out here skiing behind this boat this engine running correctly is very important to me and my lifestyle my family and I have had great times on this boat and uh, but more than anything it's the way I work out I don't go to gyms I don't run anymore you know I got old knees and ankles and I got the scars to prove it uh, and so you know I have to do the best I can with what I got and this ski boat uh, really helps me stay fit uh, it, it allows me uh, to go out and, and do things that I wouldn't be able to do in a land-based situation I can't play basketball anymore uh, I can't, I can't, you know, play tennis anymore. None of these things that I can do. So this is how I work out. This is how I stay fit. So this is really important to me that this engine stays running good and that I'm able to do what I need to do uh, out on the water uh, with my family. Yeah, I run about a third of one of these little bottles here in the fuel tank. I just filled this up yesterday and we did a short run and the boat ran so damn poor. Uh, I just brought it back home. Like I say, the only bad thing about Arch Oil is when you run out of it. Because you're going to know right away, especially with a, a high compression engine, high performance engine, Corvette, Camaro, uh, Challenger, any of these, these high compression engines uh, on the, on the, uh, in these cars and in these boats, you're going to know right away when you run out of this stuff because the engine's going to go to running poorly because the computer's backing the timing out. Keep from damaging the engine. One of the things I really like to do is teach young folks and, and older folks too, but mainly young folks how to ski. It's one of the greatest ways that they can fall in love with the water just like I have. And you know, learn to have a lot of fun with your friends and family on the lake. One of the, if you pan the camera over here, one of the things that I use is a, a tool called the boom. And the boom is absolutely instrumental in, in getting folks to have confidence skimming across the water on their skis. And, it, and it's the first step to being able to, to get folks good it's skiing. It's the first step. So today we're going to do a little boom work with these guys here. Y'all ready to do that? Yeah! yeah. Okay, here we, here we go. All right, all ready. 
Push, 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 push. Here we go. Push against the mic. Push, push, push. push. There you go, good job, and here we go. Push. Off we go. Push, push, push. push. Woo! Yay! There you go. There you go. Oh! Woo! Alright, you ready? Here we go. Good job. Woo! Let's keep that in front of you, baby. Okay. Here we go. Legs. Okay, push against the water now. Here we go. Keep your arms straight. Come up to your chest. Okay. And That's off we go. Woo! Hey guys, did you have fun skiing today? Yeah. Yeah, did you get good at it a little bit today? Yeah. I think we're tied here with Sawyer and Daisy had the two longest runs of the day. And Rhett did really good. There's always next time, right? Yeah. Then I'm all out of breath. All out of breath. Oh, it's so loud. Then you going to lay down for a minute? All right, we're good. Feels like I'm flying. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Doesn't get any better than that. Go. Here's the deal, you know, whatever your passion is, if it's something that you do with a, a gasoline or a diesel engine, you, you really just need to have the arch wheel in it. You know, this is an old boat, it's, it's a 2002 boat, I want this boat to go another uh, several more seasons because it's a wonderful, wonderful piece of equipment. And you know, just like power stroke trucks, these things are extremely expensive to replace, I mean it's sixty, seventy thousand dollars to replace this boat. But this O2 boat does what it needs to do for me and helps me achieve my goals physically and have fun with my family and friends and whatnot. So, I'm committed to the upkeep of this engine, especially storage during the off-season and whatnot. The Archwell products are just absolutely crucial for me to achieve this goal in my life. And if that's something that you really could use in your world, then I suggest that you invest in the Archwell products so that you can get the most out of your equipment too. Also, if you're watching my videos and you're not watching them on PowerStrokeHelp.com, you're really missing where the action is. You need to go to the website PowerStrokeHelp.com and check us out because there's a lot of information on there that could be very useful to you as a PowerStroke owner to keep your truck on the road as long as possible. Remember, if you press the Arch Oil button, all the proceeds from Arch Oil uh, go to help train a vet, the nonprofit organization that I run, to help veterans ease their way back into civilian life. Thank you for all your support for making PowerStrokeHelp.com the number one stop for PowerStroke owners on the internet.